doll table and chairs. So I'm gonna be doing a kind of series where I make different like crafts for different rooms in my dollhouse and then I'm going to, when all the crafts are finished, I'm gonna do a video of putting that dollhouse room together. So this is the first one, a table and chairs for the kitchen. So yeah, let's get started. Also, I got a new craft room. It's so amazing. It's so good. It's a good craft room. Yeah. And, uh, I'm filming this after I did the craft. Because the craft is right there. So I already know how this went. Went good, didn't it, Arwen? Didn't it? Yeah. Let's go. Doll table. I have a doll table for measurement, and I'm going to measure how tall it is. Seven inches tall. So our table's going to be seven inches tall, a diameter of nine inches. Okay, now I have to draw the circle. I'm going to go draw my circle. I'm making this craft out of foam board, by the way. This is my foam board. Okay, so I drew my circle. It looks like this. And what I did was I drew a point in the center. And then I measured the di I measured the radius just out from the circle all the way around and then drew a little uh, circle around it. And now I'm gonna get my dad to cut it out because I don't wanna use sharp things. So yeah, let's, I'm gonna go film my dad cutting this out. Okay, so the next step is optional. You can either paint or cover the top of your table in scrap of paper or printed out paper. My scrap of paper is really thick, so I don't know if it's gonna cover a circle really well. So I am printing out, I'm making a copy of this to print out, and it's copying right now. But I will show you in a second how to ignore this one. glue it on. Okay, so I printed out three, I made three copies of it and I glued two sheets together because I didn't have enough room. Um, what you're gonna do is lay them face, lay your sheet face down and lay your thing on it and just make little, I cut like a, and then cut a loose, like a pretty big circle around it, like you a lot of paper like this around your circle. Now you're going to apply glue to the side with the spiral on it so that gets glued face down and I'm just using a glue stick. And make sure that it's fully attached. And now you're going to just cut little slits all along your thing, but not going all the way in. Just enough space so it can wrap around the edge. So I'm just cutting little slits and leaving a little bit of excess space before it hits my little like that. Now that you've done that, you're gonna take your slits and fold them up and then just glue them down so it looks kind of like that. And you're gonna glue them down and you cut slits so it'll be easier to wrap around and make a clean edge on your circle. And don't worry, we're gonna cover everything up in a little bit. Okay, so I finished gluing it around the edges and it looks like this. It's a little bit messy because, well, I'm not the best but this is what it looks like on the back. And now you're gonna take your other piece and cut off the border and just cut it into a shape that covers the bottom. And I will show you in a minute. Okay, so first off, sorry for the dryer making noise in the back, but I glued on the bottom and I drew a rectangle that is four inches by six inches. And that's gonna mark, each of the corners is gonna mark where 
you're going to place a wooden dowel. So I'm, you're just going to glue your wooden dowels onto it, onto the corners of, sorry, onto the corners of the square rectangle you made, rectangle. Okay, so here's the table, and as you can see, the legs are a little bit unstable. So I'm going to glue popsicle sticks on two of the sides. So I'm going to glue one up top and one about halfway down. And here is the table. So it's a lot more sturdy now. You can see if your popsicle sticks are long enough, which mine aren't, you can glue some between the bigger gap or you can add more support, but I think mine is good. Now that you've got your squares cut out, we're going to take more paper and cover the chairs, all of the little squares. Um, you're gonna cover them all in paper. Okay, so how to cover a square, a square in paper is you're gonna cut a piece of your paper and lay it face down and then put glue on the back of one of your squares. Okay, and now you're just gonna lay it in the middle of your piece of paper and put it down in just like this. Now what you're gonna do is cut little triangles at the corners. And so you're gonna cut the corners out so it looks like this. Okay, so now that you have the corners cut out, you're just going to do the same thing and that you did on the last time and just fold over all of the edges in and glue it. finished chair. I'm going to finish making the other one over there and then that is the end of the video. But that's it. The other chair is drying right there because I just glued it. But I started this craft at like 2 p.m. 